Hi, uh, so this morning I'm going to use the round brush all over for a nice bouncy blow dry and then if it needs it afterwards I'll just go through with a few of the 30ml barrels just to kind of seal the ends and just give this curl a tiny bit of a stronger look. Uh, this morning I've used a little bit of John Frieda Frizzies, literally just through these ends my hair gets a little bit dry through the ends so kind of just through from about here down, I would say I just use that through those very ends where they go a bit fluffy. Then I've used my Color Wow Cocktail um, pretty much all the way through. I tend not to put too much through the roots of any of my product. That will really help to uh, prevent against breakage and put a nice finish on it. Then I've used my Color Wow Dream Coat all over. And if your hair started to dry out too much just before you blow dry it, then just give it another spritz. And then I've also used my uh, three more inches root spray, which I'm loving. Just gives it that little bit of volume, but without any stickiness. So my hair's quite damp still. You can see, I'd say it's probably 50% dry this morning. So it's a little bit damper than usual. I'm going to use the round brush, medium heat and high speed. I'm going to start through the crown again or start through the top because then I find I, it just works for me. Uh, I don't tend to do any sectioning but if you feel you need to section then then obviously do that but for me i find not sectioning works for me i'm just going to go in through the crown you can see my hair is quite wet which is fine because that might help prevent some of the frizziness at the roots i'm just going to really pull that through this is where you're going to create all your volume. So it's really important to get quite a nice lot of bounce through this area. I'm just going to make sure the roots are nice and dry before we concentrate on the ends. So you can see the width of the hair is just, just under the width of the brush. That's quite a good, a good size chunk on it really without it getting tangled. If your roots get frizzy, just go in on both sides of it. Just remember with the round brush, you have to do the work. You can't just hold it and the hair will grab onto it like with the barrel. So you have to do the, the work with it. And once you've got those roots almost dry, just start working your way through the end. I'm going to get them really smooth. I'm just going to show you, make sure you get those ends tucked right in. You need to get those ends tucked in, otherwise you'll get a buckling and then they'll look really dry. I'll just see if I can show you here. So just tuck them right in, look, before you wrap it down. I'm just supporting the hair the whole time with my other hand and using it, using it to guide the hair around the barrel, around the brush line. So really make sure that's dry, otherwise your curl just won't hold and your roots will just flop. So once that's dry, I usually just twiddle it out of the way and just push it back. And I'm just going to come in with my next section in front of it. If you find it easier, just pop a clip in the section you've just done. I'm just going to do exactly the same here. Again, keep your width of your hair just below the width of the brush. And then you won't get tangled in here and then it won't all flop off the end. Again, really concentrate on those roots because that's where you're going to get your volume and that's where you're going to reduce any fluffiness at the roots. And then just start pulling the ends through. And again, wrap those ends right in. Feed them through with the other hand. You can feel once they're in. 
and just keep going over that same section a few times to really get the air through it and get it nice and smooth. This is when you activate your green coat with the heat. And just fiddle that one out the way and just push it back and then just start on your fringe. If you want your fringe to come under, obviously bring the brush under like that. I'm going to take mine away from my face. Again, you're really putting quite a lot of strain on it. Don't be afraid to really pull the hair. You won't do any damage on it. And like I said, I only ever use medium heat, so I find it doesn't get too hot to hold while I'm using it. So those sections I've just done, I'm just going to leave those in the curl and flop them over to that side and then I'm just going to start on the sides now, doing exactly the same. Really smoothing those roots through again. Um, while I'm doing this I'll just talk to you about the filter again it's absolutely essential to keep your filters clean um, anybody who's not familiar with the, the little brush it's in this little box and it looks like that and you pop it over the table and you clean it over the top of your cage and then you remove the cage and you use the brush over the top of the underneath piece and then you can wash your cage through in water and let it dry before you put it back on. Anybody who's got their white light flashing or they've used their air wrap for a couple of weeks, give it a clean. It really is essential to keep your air, air wrap healthy. and just doing the same all the way through. This will give you your nice bouncy salon blow dry but then yourself at home. But you must make sure the hair is dry. and that will just help hold the curl. And just pick up another piece. You say I'm not sectioning it. I've been quite random with it. Some people prefer to section it and start through the bottom of the hair. I've always, always started at the top. I think because I've got natural curls, I always think if I start at the top, and then for any reason I don't feel like doing the rest, I can just scrunch it and leave it. So at least the top will always look done. Again, just pulling that through. You can see most of the time through here, my air rack is parallel to my head. That's not putting too much strain on your cables then either. So this hair I'm doing now is pretty much on the back of my head. Anybody who struggles with the back of their hair, bring it round to the side. It's a lot easier than getting your arms up in the air.
They're almost done on this one side. Just in one more section round from the back. This is probably, yeah, about halfway across the middle of my head and I've got some of the crown area in there as well. Then wrap those ends in and wrap it right to the root so you're going to get those roots dry at the back as well. Okay, I'm just going to turn my air wrap off for a minute and then I'm just going to take that those sections that I did on the top, I'm just going to flop those over. Don't worry if you get a few bits that you've missed. You can always go over those at the end. So I'm going to leave that side now and then I'm going to come in with the other side. So again, this hair here is from the back of my head. So bring it round like that. You'll find it a lot easier to manage than getting your arms up in the air. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side, using your hand to feed the hair round again. So the less you do with this, the stronger that will set in those curls. Like I said, don't worry if you've missed any bits, you can always go back over them. Use your hand to feed it round. Just um, while I'm doing that section, I'll just show you the, the difference. So this is the long barrel and the standard barrel. That's the difference in the length. Anybody who's interested? I tend to use all of them equally. Even though my hair is quite long, I still love the standard barrels. Probably I go to the standard barrels more than the long. So don't be put off if you've got long hair by buying the standard set. I think you'd equally love it. And then I purchased all of the long barrels separately. These are the latest to come out. These are the 20mm barrels. Those are the thinnest and they're great. If your curls aren't holding very well, they're really good to uh, give you a tighter curl and they're great for beach waves. Again, just doing this section, just feeding it round with your hand look to make sure you really get those ends in. See how you're doing. Just turn your air wrap off occasionally when you're using this. Try not to go over about 15 minutes of using it if you can, because obviously when you're using the round brush, you don't have the need to change the barrel, so you're not giving it a break. So I'm just going to do a little bit more just on that crown there. I'm just going to hold my brush and I'm just going to pull it through just to really smooth those roots through. You can see I missed a piece there, so go over it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, so that would be my round brush blow dry. You can see it's nice, bouncy, it's full. 
a nice bit of volume through the root. I'm just going to run through it with my 20, uh, 30ml long barrels for a change today. And again, if you want the arrows to go away from your face, that way they would go in. So if you want the curls facing you, but if you want them to go away from your face, which is what most people like, when you look in the mirror, the arrow should face out. So I'm going to start on my left side. So that arrows are facing that way. And I'm just going to do a few sort of nice curls just to give it a kind of beachy look. And I'll show you how to get a little bit more height through that top. really bring the barrel right up to the top if you want to get some height in it I'm not bothering to cool shot at all if you want your curls to last for quite a few days then obviously do a cool shot on it You can see the shine through the hair that created that from the green coat and that will really help to prevent against any humidity it puts like a coating on the hair but not a coating that builds up so don't worry about getting any build up on your hair it's water soluble so it washes out really easily You can see it just gives it that little bit more um so it'll last a bit longer through the day. I'm just letting the barrel do the work here, so if you just hold it, the hair will just grab onto it itself. Not bothering to go all the way up to the root down here because I've already dried my roots with the round brush. So literally I'm just sort of curling the ends. To show you how to get a little bit of height through the top. So if you hold your barrel in, in at the root and pull away from the way you want the hair to go and then wrap the hair around that will help to really give it some bounce through that top section you see it really lifts it same on your crown just pull it away it'll really give you some lift up there nearly there so most days I can do my hair in under 15 minutes I'm just uh, I've put the same barrel no I know what I've done I've put the 20 mil it's because that's my confusing myself because I'm showing you all my barrels did you see what happened though when I put the 20 mil barrel in the hair wouldn't grab and a lot of people say that their hair won't grab onto the barrel and that's because you've got the wrong arrow facing the wrong side that's the centre always make sure you get the right side if you want the curls to go away from your face obviously again if you struggle with the back bring it all the way across from the from the side
just run through it randomly at your own time if you want any any tighter through here just go back over it a lot of people find they do one side then they go and do the other and then they come back and this side drops a little bit so if that's the case just run run through it again if you want any smaller little curls at the top just use your tip of your barrel and just do some little sections through the top do now is let that settle for a few minutes and I'll pop a little bit of the um, Philip Kinsley serum through. I don't think I've got that in here. No, I haven't. So I'll pop a little bit of that through and then I'll put a little bit of um, Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine through and then I'll come back and show you the finished result. But it's just a very, very simple, easy blow dry. So hopefully some of you can have a go at that. 